conference interview from Paris for our adoring fans at E3. She took time out from her busy schedule to get together with the underground for a little one-on-one. -on -one. Lara Croft, rumors are that you were dead, so what exactly happened to you in Egypt? I went through a little hazy. I was trapped in an Egyptian tomb, but the Bedouin tribe rescued me and took me in. Now, is it true that you murdered Warner Von Croy? And if not, do you know who did? I don't think so, but events at his apartment are pretty hazy. There's a serial killer on the loose in Paris at the moment. Maybe he's involved. Was he able to tell you anything before he died? He told me that he'd been asked to acquire a number of 14th century artworks for a mysterious client called Eckhart. So Laura, what's your weapon of choice amongst the considerable arsenal at your disposal? My mind, obviously. Why did you decide to release the console version of the game exclusively on the PlayStation 2? Well, I've always had a close association with Sony. They've been involved with me from the beginning. And I'm over the moon that they'll be exclusively helping console game players to join me in the Angel of Darkness. So what did you think of Angelina Jolie's performance in the Tomb Raider movie? I thought she was absolutely fantastic. And what a likeness to myself. You seem to be sporting a new look. Have you had any work done? Well, yes, I have, actually. I used to be made up of 500 polygons, but now I'm 5,000. What do you think of my new look? <laughs> official PlayStation magazine for your support. I look forward to seeing all my fans this November. Get 